Careful video about being bullied has been viewed by millions. It sparked a movement. Athletes, celebrities, many people rushing to his side. But this morning, there are new questions about online posts reportedly made by Keaton's mother. Now she is responding. ABC's TJ Holmes is here with more on that. Hey, T uh, there, TJ. Good morning to you, Robin. We know millions of people were heartbroken at that image of this young boy crying and talking about being bullied. Well, yesterday, another image of him started to emerge, a picture of him posing alongside a Confederate flag. His mother admits she posted that picture of him and the family with the flag. But now she's trying to explain herself to a lot of people who aren't feeling so good about what was supposed to be a feel-good story. I did not ever imagine for any of this to happen. He's the brave boy from that heartbreaking video seen by more than 20 million people. Why did my joy taken innocent people and finding a way to be mean to them? Earning him invitations from a list of celebrities and a slew of famous friends. Um, this kid is all time. He's a legend. Go check him out. His name's Keaton. But this morning, controversy is clouding Keaton's message. After alleged social media posts, some believe are from his mother, Kimberly Jones, caused a swift backlash from those who earlier quickly jumped online to support him. We're not racist. I mean, and people that know us know that. The Tennessee mother's Facebook account, which originally posted the bullying video, is now private. Jones told ABC News the photo of her family posing with the Confederate flag is real, but says it's not racist in any way. It was meant to be ironic and funny and extreme. I am genuinely, truly sorry. If I could take it back, I would. Despite Jones' photos and alleged writing coming to light, many people online are still choosing to stand with Keaton, saying they can separate the 11-year-old from his mother's reported actions. One tweeting, we cannot hold kids accountable for the actions of their parents and family. Though disheartening, we were all moved by the effects of bullying and to end it. Let's continue to focus on that. They want to hate me, I mean, and whatever, that's fine, but, but still talk to your kids. Talk to your kids because this is, I said, this is, this is an epidemic. But at the center of it all, just one sixth grader who wanted to share his message against bullying. Don't let it go to the point it did for me. Um, you have friends stand up for people that are being bullied. If you see it, don't just watch it happen. All right, the school confirms there was an incident, a bullying incident at the school. They won't give us the details of it, uh, but they say that it's not as rampant as you might think based on the video. So that is the school's response. The mother, again, her defense, she says, hey, we're in the South. This is Tennessee. There are Confederate flags all over the place. And I set that up. That was something that was taken for a friend, and it wasn't meant the way people are taking it. But it sets up a moral dilemma, guys. Mm -hmm. All right, does it disqualify him from our sympathy if you believe the worst about the mother. And now questions about what was he really doing at the school? So now this feel good story, just, it's been tainted. We're so someone. eager for it to, to feel completely good about it, but yes. you know, she, she stood up and she answered those questions she in, did. in your report. She and got out there and she got out right. in front of it because she, it sounds like she is sincere, not trying to take right. away from what was an organic message of bullying that spread that everybody could feel good about. You don't yeah. want that message to be to diluted. Get lost. Yeah. Yeah. Anything to take away, you take that part yep. away from That's it. Right. All right, thank you, TJ. You got it, guys.